Hi hey y'all, it's me Carl. So for thousands of years, languages have changed, which means translations of the Bible have changed as well. There's tons of different translations for the Bible, ranging from the Old English of King James to the fictitious futuristic language of the Klingons from Star Trek. But one translation of the Bible which I have yet to come across is a Generation Z translation. So join me again on how to translate some scripture into Generation Z language. It's my cousin Brock. Thanks for being here, Brock. Yeah, or should I say, it's real chill for you to help me out, fam. What? <clears throat> Never mind. <laughs>
But there's a giant civil rights movement taking a new shape with the Black Lives Matter movement and protests over police brutality against people of color, specifically black people. This is not news to you. This has been all happening all, all summer. Well, CPC is a biblical justice fo focused church, and there's no doubt about that in our commitment to working on that. But the thing about justice is that it's never finished. And for us as a youth group, as a group of curious, intelligent young people, we need to know that it's never finished and there's always work to do. And we also need to know that racism is a learned behavior that thrives on silence. So we must talk to people about race, particularly young people. We gotta talk to each other so that we can learn from each other how to be anti-racist. So with that in mind, we're starting a six week class called Say Something. And it's from our friends at Be The Bridge, which is a wonderful organization. Uh, and from this class, you're gonna get started on the journey towards anti-racism as a, as a youth. And it's gonna help you know how you can find your place in all this movement, in this movement of justice and anti-racism. The class begins in October and we're gonna have more details coming about it soon. But if you're interested, just go ahead and, and let me know or you can look for the link in the bio. So with that, let's get into this week's topic and we're gonna have our buddy Josh take us there with some scripture. As Jesus was walking beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon called Peter, and his brother, Andrew. They were casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. Stop what you're doing right now and stretch. That's right, seriously, do it, stretch. Feels pretty good, right? That's because stretching your body helps your muscles stay healthy, helps them stay flexible, and allows you to grow. And your faith is kind of like that too. And in scripture, we can learn how to stretch and grow our own faith from the stories and the words of the Jesus follower who've gone before us. Like there's Peter and there's Andrew who dropped everything to follow Jesus. Or there's Mary Magdalene who followed Jesus even when things got really difficult. Or Paul who changed his entire life the instant he chose to follow Jesus. These people have pretty extraordinary stories of faith, but they all started in the exact same way. They simply made a commitment. So if you want to stretch your faith, what's a new commitment you could make? Is it to follow Jesus for the first time? To love God more? To love others more? You can stretch your faith with a commitment. So let's stretch. Declared that there is not I own. 